and news just coming into CNN. Apple reports it sold 52 million iPhones in the first three months of the year. That's slightly less than analysts expected, but revenue and profits did beat expectations. Apple also announced plans to buy back $100 billion worth of stock and increase its dividend. Shareholders are liking that news. Apple shares are up more than 4% in after-hours trading. The stock has come down over the past two weeks with reports from Apple suppliers hinting at weak demand for iPhones. So was this just a tease? We need our tech expert, Shelly Palmer, to help us understand these numbers. I even saw you, your eyebrows go up when, when I reported those numbers. Better than expected indeed, right? Better than expected. The stock buyback is fantastic. People are going to be happy. But I'm not sure that's the story. So what's the story? I think the story is there are two possible futures for Apple. One, where handsets are still awesome and they start and they continue to make a lot of money selling iPhones and things iPhone. Mm -hmm. And the other where the handset business sort of drifts off because it's starting to just become iteration, not innovation. They haven't had a smash hit with the iPhone 10, although that's not, you know, one device, one iteration, right. one and it's generation not like it's a doesn't bomb, kill you. Right? No, it's far not, from it. There's it, one here it, in my hand. I mean, right, it's like they're right. not, it's far from a bomb. Yeah. But at the end of the day, one has to wonder, did Apple like, is the, are their best days behind them or in front of them? And you can talk to any group of investors and you're going to get arguments on both sides that are cogent, right? One is that, look, these guys are a profit-making machine. They always mark their hardware up to the highest possible level. Um, the price elasticity with respect to Apple is just charge them as much as they can possibly take and then add a few bucks more to see if they just, you know, will buy it anyway. And then there's the other side of that, which is, you know what? Handsets are over. You guys got the next thing because you used to have the next thing. What's the next thing? Ha have we overcome that desire and insatiable need for the next thing versus we just making what we have now great? No, no, we haven't because we're coming into a world of 5G, a data-driven world of augmented reality. There is no version of tomorrow with as less data than there is today available to, to turn into action. And Apple is going to have to be all over that. Now, there's no indication that they aren't. They've always been very stealthful about what's new and what's coming. Uh, there or some patents for eyewear. Is it going to be eyewear, contact lenses, implants? Whatever the next thing is in a 5G data-driven world, who is going to own that the way Apple owned the 4G handset world? Mm -hmm. Those are the two that's the two apples. And by the way, everybody that has Apple stock is probably doing a little bit of a Snoopy dance right now. It's not a bad day. You know who's not doing a Snoopy dance stock? Yeah. Snap shareholder. Yeah. Not a great earnings report from them. Weren't expecting a good one either, but this one came in worse than expected. They don't have a story to tell at Snap. You know, this is their product redesign at Snapchat. Even the loyalist of loyalists mm -hmm. went to that redesign and went, what? So the people who love it don't love it. The people who didn't care don't care. Their advertising revenue isn't what it should be. It's just not in the decision tree anymore for advertisers. It was the cool thing. It's not cool now. They have an incredibly long road to hoe if they're going to find their way back. to uh, Look, at any time you can have a hit. At any time you can do something right. that makes people go, yeah, but at the moment... Yeah. Yeah. But Snap is not surprising. As long as people still want to go, yeah, right? I mean, this is a, a sigh of relief for Facebook in that they own Instagram. They do. Instagram is eating Snap's lunch. It's been doing that for a while now. I guess it continues to, given this report. Yeah, and if you're at F8, you find out there's 3D photos coming in the new dating app. Exactly. Of, of all the things that you might have needed in your life, a Facebook dating app is in your future. Uh, not mine. Not mine. I'm happily married. <laughs> Probably not mine either, but that's not the point. It's coming. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. To, to a phone near you. Oh, Shelly, so entertaining and great to have you on. Great Very Informative as well. Thank Thanks. You.